I will tell you about the class. So maybe you read in the email already today that we're going to focus on your yoga journey. Journey. On your personal yoga journey. Um, and especially for Israel, you would like this because it has a lot to do with the chakras. It's something that yes. I haven't been studying a lot and I really want to know more about. Um, so you inspired me. Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> so very often and especially when we, when we use yoga as a medicine, it's really good to listen to the body, see what's going on inside and find out where you feel blockage in the body because that often says something about where you go wrong in life uh, in regards or related to the chakras. About the third eye chakra, that's the one that we're going to speak about, or not really speak about, but we're going to focus on today. And um, it has to do with your vision, insight, and your perception of the world, or like you said, the illusion. So we often get distracted by things and people around us and we compare ourselves and really it's just what we think maybe or what we believe to be true. And today we're going to go on a yoga journey in the, into the body and find out what your own truth is and what your journey is. All right. And then we will start in meditation pose. So I invite you all to come to like the center of your mat and come into a seat that's comfortable to you. There's no need to push yourself in any weird positions right now. Going, getting into it easy and steady. So come to your mat, meditation or easy pose. Start to lengthen the spine. Keep your shoulders low, the chin in line with the mat. And take a few deep breaths. You can rest your hands on your knees with the palms up to the sky or the ceiling or on your knees with the palms over or touching the kneecaps. Take a deep breath in through the nose and a long breath out through the mouth. Two more, inhale and exhale. Inhale, exhale completely and close your eyes. Find your own rhythm of breathing. And start to ask yourself the following questions. Why am I here? What have I achieved so far? Or in other words, how far have I come? What are my biggest challenges right now? So again, why am I here? What have I achieved so far? And what are my next steps on this journey?
take a few more deep breaths and get clear on your answers. Really ground down. Feel what it is to feel like in your body today. And maybe tell yourself, I'm unique. I follow my practice and I'm open. On your next inhale, slowly open your eyes again and lift your arms up to the sky. Take your gaze up and on an exhale, bring your arms down, drop the head, the chin to your chest and feel a slight stretch at the back of your neck. Inhale again, lift the arms, lift your gaze. And exhale all the way down, drop the head. Inhale, lift. And exhale down. Place your fingertips on the mat or maybe behind you if you want an opening in your chest. Then really drop the head all the way down and roll your right cheek towards the right shoulder. On an exhale, circle it down and bring the left cheek to your left shoulder. Inhale. Exhale, roll to your right. Inhale. Exhale, roll to your left. Take it slow. Inhale. Exhale, roll to your right. And this time, lift fingers. Lift your palm of the left of your lift your left hand, and then lift your fingers up to the sky. So you get a deep stretch from the neck, through the arm, all the way to your wrist and fingers. Keep sitting up straight. Keep breathing. One more breath. And on an exhale, release the left hand and roll your head back to center. Inhale here, exhale, roll to your left side, lift the right hand and lift the fingertips up to the sky. Again, feel that stretch from the neck through your arm to your wrist and fingers. And if it is painful, try to enjoy it. Try to, try to switch your perception, your judgment, and try and just feel. Maybe you come up with a new opinion, something that you haven't felt before. Inhale. And exhale, release the right hand and drop the head back to center. Inhale, lift the head. And this time we're going to come to all fours and take some cat cows. 
So bring your hands and shoulders and elbows in line, knees underneath the hips, active through the core, so we don't want to sink in, and tuck your toes under for this round. Take a few breaths here, feel what it is like to be here in tabletop position. Completely let go of the breath. And on your next inhale, drop the belly, lift the head. Exhale, round the spine. Drop your gaze, drop your head. And come up as far as you can, like a black Halloween cat. Inhale, drop the belly, lift your head. And exhale all the way up. Stay strong through the arms. A tight, a very slight bend in the elbows. But try to keep them as straight as possible. And move through your cat cow in your own rhythm. Find some movement, moving the body back and forth. Take some circles of figure eight. Find what feels right for you. Don't just copy me or the other people on the screen. Feel what your body needs. What feels right for you today. Make it playful and honor your own expression. So really yoga is a journey that's very personal and something that's completely unique to everyone. And often when we start practicing, we copy the teacher, we copy other people that we see practicing. But really the trick and what we want to eventually is make the practice our own. Take two more breaths. And then come back to center. Bring your knees towards the outside of the mat. Your feet or your big toes together. You can keep them tucked under or leave them flat on the mat. Place the left hand underneath your head. And lift the right arm up to the sky. Open your chest. Again, take your expression here. You can stay here straight, maybe open to your right completely. Or find some movement by spiraling down and taking twists. One more breath. And exhale down. Same on the other side. Replace the left hand by your right. And lift the left arm high up to the sky. Maybe open up. Or take a twist. Find what feels right for you. Breathe in long, slow breaths. And making each movement count. Inhale. And exhale down. Take the arms out long in front of you. Sing the hips towards the heels. And then rest your forehead on the mat for child's pose. If you want to keep the knees together, feel free to do so. Otherwise, you can keep them wide towards the sides of the mat. And 
rest your forehead on your mat to the floor below you. And feel how your sixth chakra, or your vision, your eye, your third eye, is touching the floor. Connecting to the ground. And see what it's trying to tell you. Come back to your questions. And we will add a few more to the questions we already had. Ask yourself. Do I trust my intuition? Do I feel connected? Or do I get easily distracted and find it difficult to make decisions? Am I over analytical, judgmental? Do I have clarity of mind and thought? Throughout this practice, that try to take from it what feels good to you. Try to take from it what feels right and in alignment with your goals and the way you feel today. Honor your practice, your body your movement and cherish your own unique expression of each pose. There's no need to be perfect. There's no need for competition. Really just be you. Next inhale, lift the head, lift the upper body and come back to your table position with your hands, your fingers widely spread, the knees underneath the hips again, tuck the toes under, sink the hips back slightly and then lift the hips up to the sky. Keep your knees bent and your heels lifted. Then bring one heel down or towards the floor and then the other walk your dog find some movement keep your fingertips firmly planted on the floor and like a vacuum effect in the palms strong in the arms shoulders away from the head long spine and your hips up high. Find your expression 
So you can move here, walking the knees or moving the knees. And maybe even bend from side to side. Or bending the elbows. Really make it playful. And dare to try something new, find something new here. In yoga we practice a lot of down dogs, so it can become boring, but it really don't have to be. And your next exhale, slowly try to push the heels down as far as possible. And take three breaths in stillness. Last one. Exhale completely. And then your inhale, look towards the front of the mat. Bend the knees and tiptoe your feet towards the hands. Super slow, with control, your own pace. Come to a forward fold. And place your fingertips on the mat. Keep your knees bent if you need to. Really fold from the hips so that your belly is touching the thighs. Now you can rest your hands or your fingers on the mat. And if you don't reach, you can just ha let them hang there. Or place them on the shins. Bring your fingertips on the mat and on an inhale lift halfway. Exhale, fold. Inhale, hands on your shins halfway. And exhale, fold. Inhale, hands on your thighs. Ha, ha, come all the way down. And on your next inhale, lift the arms up to the sky and slowly vertebra by vertebra, bring the upper body all the way up. Exhale, hands through center, bring the next to your hips. And come to mountain pose. Inhale, lift the arms. Exhale, fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Choose your version. So either hands on the, on the mat, on the shins, or on the thighs. And exhale, fold. Again, inhale, lift all the way. And exhale, mountain pose. Feel how all corners of the feet are pushing or pressing into the floor. And to check if you're really grounded here, maybe lift the toes and see if maybe you're starting to sway from side to side. So you stand up straight and strong here. Push the feet down or the toes down. Slightly bend the knees and lift the arms up high. Exhale, fold. And inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, down. And last one, inhale, lift all the way. Exhale, mountain. Take one breath. And inhale, lift the arms up high. Exhale, forward fold. Place your hands on the mat. And step the right foot all the way back. Step your left foot back and come to plank. 
and then hinge the shoulders over the wrist, drop the knees, bend the elbows, keep them super close into the side body, and then chest, knees and chin on the mat. Inhale, lift slightly, only a little back bend or cobra here, and exhale down. Tuck your toes under, come into all fours, and then to down dog, or come to plank, and down dog. Take one breath. And bend the knees, and now step or walk your feet back to center. Inhale, halfway lift, and exhale down. Inhale, lift the arms, maybe take a slight back bend, and exhale, mountain. Inhale, lift the arms up. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, down. Place your hands on the mat and step your left foot back. Followed by the right, come to plank. And hinge the shoulders, drop the knees, chest, knees and chin on the mat. Inhale, cobra, maybe a little bit higher. Exhale down. Tuck the toes under, push into plank or tabletop. And down dog. Three breaths in. Stay strong. Listen to your intuition. And try to change your perspective. Listen without judgment. Then look up to the front, bend the knees. This time you can step, hop or jump your feet between the hands. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale down. Inhale, arms up. Exhale, mountain. Again, inhale, lift the arms. Exhale, fold. Inhale, lift, and exhale down. Place your hands on the mat. Choose to either step, step the feet back or jump. But when you jump, really keep your core active so we're not sinking into the backbone. From here, straight into your chaturanga, your expression, either knees up high or knees low. Chest, knees and chin. Inhale for Cobra or Up Dog and exhale Downward Facing Dog. Three breaths. inhale bend the right knee and lift the right leg all the way high up to the sky try to keep your hip bones in line so we're not opening here and you probably can't come up as high as you'd like to and try to keep them in line here inhale and on an exhale bend the knee bring the knee to your nose Inhale, lift. Exhale, knee to nose. Inhale, lift. Exhale, knee to nose. And place your foot between your hands. Drop the back knee, the left knee in this case. Untuck the toes. Make sure that your spine is in one straight line. And then lift your arms up to the sky. Move your hips back, 
So now your ankle is in your front ankle is in line with the front knee, and the back knee is in line with the hip. Take a deep breath in, activate your thighs. Maybe feel the groins opening. Keep your shoulders low. Exhale, frame your front foot. Tuck the back toes under. Lift and step into plank. Move your, sh your shoulders over the wrist and in your expression of Chaturanga. Inhale for Cobra or Up Dog. And exhale, Downward Dog. Take one breath, and we're moving straight on to the other side. Exhale completely, and on your inhale, lift the left leg up high. Keep your hips aligned, strong in the arms. Keep your neck and head relaxed. And on an exhale, bend the left knee, knee to nose. Inhale, lift. Exhale, knee to nose. Inhale, lift. Exhale, knee to nose. Hold here. And then place your foot between your hands. Drop the right knee. Untuck the toes. Stay strong in the back and lift your arms up. Move your hips backwards. Front knee in line with front ankle. Your back knee in line with the hips. Activate your thighs. Again, keep your hips in one straight line. Take one more breath. And exhale, frame the front foot and tuck the toes under, step into plank and your way to Chaturanga. Inhale, Cobra or Up Dog. And exhale, Downward Dog. Beautiful. Stay here for three breaths. And repeat the affirmation, whichever one you've chosen. I'm unique, or I'm open. Whatever aligns with you, and whatever feels right in your body, your mindset today. Your next inhale, look forward, bend the knees and step up or jump feet between the hands. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, down. Inhale, lift the arms up to the sky and exhale, mountain. Continue, inhale, lift the arms, exhale, fold, inhale, halfway lift, exhale, hands on the mat, step up or jump into plank, inhale, hinge forward, and exhale to Chaturanga, inhale, halfway lift, sorry, inhale, cobra or up dog, Exhale, down dog. Inhale, lift the right leg up to the sky. Exhale, bend the knee, bring the knee to your nose. Inhale, lift. Exhale, knee to nose. Inhale, lift. Exhale, knee to nose. Place your foot between the hands. This time keep your left knee lifted. Place your hands out a little bit in front of you. Stay strong in your back. And then lift the arms up to the sky 
and swift your hips backwards. Bend your back knee to really get your center in line with the shoulders. And you want to stay here straight and strong. Inhale. And exhale. Inhale. And exhale, frame the front foot, step into plank, and your way to Chaturanga. Inhale, cobra or up dog. And exhale, downward facing dog. One breath. Inhale, lift the left leg up high. Exhale, bend the knee, bring the knee to your nose. Inhale, lift. Exhale, knee to nose. Inhale, lift. Exhale, knee to nose. And place your foot between the hands. Keep your back knee lifted. Place the hands a little bit out in front. Exhale completely. And on your inhale, lift the arms. Bend the back knee and come into your crescent lunge here. Stay strong, stay active. And honor your journey. Find something new. What are you showing up for today? What are those next steps that you're taking? Inhale. And exhale, frame the front foot, step into plank. Your way to Chaturanga. Inhale, up dog or cobra. Exhale, downward dog. Three breaths here, and remember child's pose is always an option. So catch your breath, come back to yourself. Come back to your practice. One more breath. And then your inhale again, look forward. Bend the knee, step up or jump. And inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Inhale, lift the arms up. Exhale, mountain. Last round, we're coming into one more expression of Suryama A, and we're going to add our falling star. You can make a wish. Inhale, lift your arms up to the sky. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale down. Hands on the mat, step up or jump. Chaturanga. Inhale, up dog or cobra. Exhale, downward dog. Inhale, lift the right leg up high. Exhale, bend the knee. Knee to your left elbow. Inhale, lift. Exhale, knee to left elbow again. Inhale, lift. And place your knee to your elbow and then straighten the right leg place your foot on the side of the left of the right foot on the mat actually in front of the mat come on to the side of the left foot find your balance stay super strong in this right arm and then lift the left arm up high to the sky 
So we've got the side of the left and the right foot on the mat. Toes are not touching the mat. We're staying super strong in that right arm. And we've got our hips lifted up high. Inhale. Take one more breath here. Stay strong. Be you and make a wish. We're in fine star. Inhale. Exhale. Place your left hand on the mat. Come back to the knee to nose position. Lift the right leg all the way up. And step back in downward dog. Let's take three breaths here. Active arms. Strong legs, hips up high. And relax the head and neck. Maybe even move your head from side to side. Inhale, lift the left leg up high. Exhale, bend the knee, bring the knee to your right elbow. Inhale, lift. Knee to right elbow. Inhale, lift. Knee to right elbow. And then straighten the leg out in front. Place the side of the foot on the mat. Side of your left foot on the mat. Stay strong. Keep your hand and left arm on the mat strongly. And lift the right arm up high. Push your hips up so we can feel like we're wanting to fall down here. But keep your hips all the way up high. Look up if you can. And stay here for two more breaths. Inhale, and exhale, right hand down, lift the left knee, bring the knee to your nose, and lift it all the way up high, for your three like a duck, and on an exhale, step back, down dog. If you want, you can catch your breath in child's pose, so stay here. Stay in here for two more breaths. And then lift your head slightly, lift the gaze slightly. Now walk your feet towards your center and your hands towards center. So we're now in a forward fold in the center of our mat. And then spread the legs or bring the feet towards the sides of the mat. If you're really open, you can keep your feet even wider because we're going to come into a five-pointed star here. And then inhale, come to halfway lift. And exhale, fold forward. Again, inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Bring your hands to your hips. And then with a straight and strong core, lift all the way up. Now bring, I fall into losing my balance. <laughs> Bring the feet towards the sides, so they're facing the sides of the mat. And then lift your arms up high. Make sure that your center really is in line with the chest and the shoulders. So we don't want to bring the hips back or hang here. Really stand straight, shoulders low, arms up high. Beautiful, we're in five-pointed stack. Inhale, 
push the chest slightly forward, look up to the sky, find your empowerment and tell yourself you're strong, you're worth it and you're worth of your own unique yoga journey. Inhale and exhale, drop the hands, bring them to your hips. Inhale again and exhale, fall down. Beautiful. Place your hands on the mat, widen your stand if you need to. And maybe bring the elbows on the mat as well. So you can take a few variations. Leaving your hands on the mat in line with the feet. If you want to stretch, you can bring the arms out long or maybe behind you or towards the feet. Again, find your expression, find what you need. Going to stay here for five breaths. So we've got our head really close to the floor, to your mat. And this is a great way to metaphorically let go of all our judgment. Let it drop of the head, let it fall out. Let go of everything that you know, everything that's holding you back. Everything that no longer serves you. Take one final breath here in your white legged forward fold. And place your hands on the mat. Lift halfway. Hands to your hips. And lift all the way up high. Again, we're coming into a five pointed star. Lift your arms up. And if you feel a little bit dizzy, keep your hands on your hips here and stabilize. And feel how you feel now, how this five-pointed star is different to your first one. Do you feel more energized, stronger, powerful? Make sure that the, the knees or the heels are pointing towards your center. And then bend the left knee. Inhale, lift. Straighten the leg. Exhale, bend the right knee. And straighten your leg. Now bend both knees. Bring your arms, sorry, bend your elbows into cactus. And then bring the thumb and the uh, index finger together like circles. So everything is okay. And come into goddess. Take three breaths here. And if you feel like giving up, just tell yourself one last breath. We can do hard things and we can show up for ourselves. Maybe sink a little bit lower. Inhale. And on your exhale, drop the arms, straighten the legs. Beautiful. Maybe move your hips. Catch your breath. And then heel toe the feet a little bit wider than your hips. Inhale, lift the arms up high. And on your exhale, bring the arms or the hands in line with the shoulders in front of you. Bend the knees. 
and come to a yogi squat. So if you've got your bum pretty low, you can stay here. Otherwise, you can place your hands behind you and just come to sit down with a bit of support. Just come sit down here. Straighten the legs in front of you. Inhale, lift the arms up high. And exhale, reach forward. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, forward fold. One more. Inhale, lengthen. And exhale, bring it down. Relax. So with our heads on the shins and knees or thighs, all body parts here are connected and close to each other. This is a great way to go inward. Explore your vision, your new insights, your perspectives. In your own path. And your next inhale, slowly lift the head slightly. And then like a yoga zombie, come all the way up vertebra by vertebra. Bend the knees, bring them into the chest and roll all the way on your back. Again, slow and with control. Have the knees into the chest, find a little sway. And then hold them to the right knee. Straighten the left leg out, long in front. Drop your heel and take the right knee over to your left. Push the knee onto the mat or the floor below you. If it doesn't touch, don't worry. Take the right arm or out long so the hand is in line with the shoulder. Or if you want a full body connection, bring the left knee on top of the right foot. Bring your right hand towards the left foot and your right hand, left hand on your right knee. So we're all connected. One big ball of connection. You find your stretch in the neck by lifting and gazing over or past the right shoulder. And relax here. Take one more breath. Wherever you are, let go. And slowly roll back to center. Bring the knees into the chest. Find a little sway. And straighten the right leg. Point the toes. Drop your heel while you hold on to the left knee. And bring the knee over to your right. Choose your variation. So come to your regular supine twist with your arm out long and your right leg out long too. All connect all the body parts 
bringing the left, right knee on top of the left foot and the left hand holding the right foot. So yeah, try to keep the shoulders on the mat. Keep breathing. Enjoy the stretch, the twist. This last few moments for yourself. On your next exhale, slowly release and come back to center. Bring the knees into your chest and I invite you here to do what feels right. So come into a bridge pose with the heels on the mat and the palms next to your hips, lifting the hips up high or come to a shoulder stand, the legs out long behind you or a happy baby, bending the knees, lifting the, pat, the soles of the feet up to the sky, or any other yoga pose, any other asana that feels right to you now, anything you need, anything you feel like. Remember, this is your practice. Remember that every practice as well is unique as yourself. And whenever you're ready, come into Savasana. Your legs out long, your palms next to your sides. And really try to drop down the shoulders, the weight of your legs and hips. Slightly tuck the chin, so we've got a long neck. And let go of your breath. Maybe taking a deep inhale. And a long exhale to really let go. So stay in your savasana for a little bit longer. While well, I read a little story. So there's fertility and strength, a life force and an energy that's translated through you into action. Because there's only one of you, this expression is unique. Therefore, we want to stay curious, stay open. Our intention is the most valuable thing we have. Where our eyes go, 
our body, mind, thoughts and actions go to. We tend to compare ourselves to others. Others' capabilities, skills, achievements and talents and fall into the trap of neglecting our own value. We spend a lot of time being distracted not listening to our intention and intuition, our insight and vision, or the sixth chakra, Aina. When we balance the energy at the eye center, we are more intuitive, connected to our consciousness, and can see things clearly and symbolically. We can visualize our dreams, goals, and the path, the path that you want to follow without distractions. Slowly bring your knees into your chest. And roll over to fetal position to make your way back to meditation pose or a seated position of your choice. Throughout the day and the days ahead of you, try to move as you like or as you did in this practice with intention from your intuition and from the unique you. Let go of judgment and observe your distractions and maybe find something new within you.